Good day everybody. My name is Solomon and I welcome everybody to this channel which is called Arctic Channel. On this channel I do a lot of um, tutorials on build softwares on MS Access on SL of which I've not started yet. Uh, I I welcome everybody once again. If you are new to my channel, please I urge you to subscribe to my channel just to help grow my channel if you are already subscribed to welcome back and thank you for letting me reach where I've reached now I am much appreciated with all that you have been doing since I have more people watch my video but less or fewer people subscribe I don't know why it is like that but it's normal maybe one day you love it more and then you subscribe uh, without much I do, let's go straight to what I'm going to do today. I am going to show you or demonstrate how this uh, new um, expense management system I have created works. It's very simple. Let's go through it. So first of all, when I go to my uh, drive C and I go to my and drive C on my drive C I have mm, created this folder which is expense so inside it we have the icons and then the file itself here when I open this uh, you can see I have some three icons here so that's what you have to do first you have to copy the you create a folder on drive C and then you copy these two items into it so we come to dashboard uh, the desktop and you create a new shortcut so I'll go to shortcuts and I'll browse to where I have my file I'll go to um, this PC and I go to Windows C then I'll go to expenses then I'll select this okay so done then you click on next I'll maintain the name and I'll click on finish so this is it this is the shortcuts now so i have to change the i want to change the icon so i'll click again then i'll go to properties and i'll go to change icon then i'll browse to where i have the icon so i think uh no not this size so go to this drive c uh this pc then go to drive c expense then i'll go to icons and uh, now choose one so okay 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 i think let me select this and then open okay then there's one more thing that we have to do and sometimes when we open the access form it first brings up the splash form of the access i don't like that so to hide it i'll go to run then i'll go to this folder which is uh minimize so let's minimize and we apply we save all right so you can see now we have changed the icon and it is like this so let's open it all right so we double click Okay, so you can see you did not see the splash form of the assets just open straight to so that is how you can hide the splash form when you want to open assets and you can see here too i have uh, i have changed the icon to this uh, which i'll maybe i'll show you later or, i don't know all right so um, without much i let's log, log in and see what we have in this so right i think let me go to registration first so let's register sign up then i will say solomon cargo and go to type say pick my usual username architect uh, architect then I will pick my password okay so let's 
let's sign up all right so it means that the username already exists in the table so i can't use the same username so i have to change it so let me change it i'm going to use then let's see another thing let's see when the password do not match what we get so let's say i choose i say password do not match so let's let's make it the same okay so one, two, three, four. all right so let's sign up yes done so new user added successfully close okay so this is the dashboard of the software we have uh, the dashboard we have the um, I mean the set budget that is where you can put your monthly budgets in we have the expenses we have the expenses report and we have the user profile so let's check the user profile and see if actually is is what uh, the sign up I made for so when I click on this yeah you can see it's me we have Solomon Ago we have the uh, we have the email we have the username active div and we have the date of registration we can change the password if we are willing to do it so when you click on it it will ask you for the current password the new password and the confirm password and you click on change it will do that so let's go back to dashboard so when you look at the dashboard we have today's expenses yesterday's expenses last seven days last 30 days then monthly budgets left and then the total expenses so what we have to do is let's start let's get into it we go to sets budget so let's put in something like uh, five yeah, it can be five hundred dollars. Can be five hundred. Uh, cities can be anything. Like just put in your your amount that you have. Then you click on send. Yeah, done. Record successfully added. Okay, close. Then we can go to dashboard and check. All right. So this is it. Monthly budget left is five hundred. Just use this. You can change the account maybe in future. So that is five hundred. Now, when you go to expenses, uh, let's click on expenses and the expenses we have add expenses and we have manage expenses. So we start with uh, adding expenses. Okay, so I'll choose my dates, which is today. I'll choose the item, which is I bought a shirt. So the shirt. And then the amount is. Uh, 12 all right so I click on send yeah record update is successful close okay let's go to dashboard and check what is there when you go to dashboard you can see we have today's expenses which is 12 we have yesterday there was nothing like that it's only today we have last seven days which is 12 that it it counts from the current day backwards so it's today and then yesterday and so backwards but i'm not going to then we have last 30 days the same thing start from the current day that is today date and then backwards then we have the monthly budget so let's see we added 500 so when we subtract 12 from 500 we are going to get 480 which is true and then the total expenses is this all right let, let's add another one so let's go to add then let's choose a date i am going to choose yesterday's dates so yesterday to my country it was 23rd yeah then i will add my expenses i bought shoe Is that a spelling okay fine i don't know uh, sometimes i just forgot my spellings if I, if I yeah i think that is it then the cost was uh 150 all right so let's add that to the budget okay close yeah so let's go and check 
good dashboard yeah so you can see I choose I choose yesterday's date and you can see yesterday's date is yesterday expensive you see and then it's one twenty uh, 150 we have today's we have last seven days that is the total which is 162 and then that is the same thing here you can also see it here and you can also see it here all right so that is it now when you click on expenses button and you go to manage expenses we can delete uh, some expenses so you can see the items I have here I have um, on 24th I have this on, on 23rd I also have this I can delete you can click on delete yeah to delete okay so deleted we only have this one let's go to add and then you pick the date again yesterday's date 23rd then I am going to put in the same item and I'm going to say it is 150 and I click on send ok close dashboard yeah so we have it yesterday's expenses is here with the nice <coughs> all right so let's we can also look at the expenses reports when you click on the expense report we have day date wise we have monthly wise we have yearly wise and so forth so when you click on date wise i can say from all right from 22nd to let's check on 25th let's see what we have all right so we have uh this and from 22nd october to uh, I mean 25th October let's click on send all right so you can see we have it we have in between the two dates we have from 24th to 23rd which is here excellent all right so let's move on to look at let's check that for monthly wise so monthly I am going to is the same but I'm going to use the dates so let's go to let's say September 1st and uh, September 20, 2000 and then uh, we'll select um, October, November okay, November 1st of which we are not in November we are in October, I just want us to know All right? so boom now you can see that the expenses incurred between September 23rd and November 23rd so that it is between September 23rd so we have October as you can see here we can also do that for um yearly so you go to yearly we pick from uh let's say uh, i have to go back a little bit i can type but let me use the 22nd okay we choose any 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 month or any day in the in the year we specify then uh i come here and then that is 2022 and then i'm going to select okay so we have um let's click on send it doesn't matter with this i think uh, i have to do some no problem so we click on send and uh, we have no say expenses incurred between 2022 and 2023 we don't have it here so let's try with uh, another date so the same yearly and then we going to pick um this and i'm going to choose current date so that is 2022 and 2023 okay so boom expenses incur between 2022 and 2023 all right so i think i have done with everything i need to show you you can okay so um let's go to dashboard okay so dashboard we have it here let's add um, more expenses and see something so i'm going to choose um, let me say uh 21st then i will say i bought some perfume Okay, so the perfume was 60 and cent. Let's check it out. Dashboard. 
okay so you can see that we have perfume we have this we have this we have last seven days remember i've added another last 30 days this is the month to budget remaining and we also have the um total expenses here so that is it you go to profile you look at it you can change uh, profile you can change your password and that okay let's let's check and let's try to change the password so i know the current password is uh, i think uh, okay let's um, i'm just going to show you the security side of this uh, i'm not going to change actually change the password okay so me all right so done it means everything has worked successfully all right so um let's go to dashboard and uh okay so i think it's it's it's, it's okay i think i've shown everything i need to show about this uh, so it's very, very simple and easy to use think maybe you love it for your personal use or for a small business where you do a lot of expenses um, I take, take care of it okay so I will once again thank everybody for giving me their precious time watching this video please if you like my video uh, share it you see anything about it just say thank you about it just say nice write anything in the comment section just to um i mean give me more views yeah so you do that for me subscribe if you have not subscribed you also need to share it as i have already said i love that part share my videos i i love it much okay thank you i will see you in the next video bye bye